Hey, Dave Savage here and Tom Tuziant with Fairway Mortgage. Hey, Tom, thanks for jumping on a quick call to drive some mortgage coach training. Yeah, thanks, Dave. Happy to talk about it. Yeah, so let's let's walk through and just share. You're a you know non-producing branch manager, uh, managing and helping a lot of loan officers deliver more value with Mortgage Coach. So feel free to jump in. Uh, I know one, you got a big idea to share, and two, just some color around this core idea. Sound good? All right. Yeah. All right, mortgage coach loan officer. So, so we all know you, every time you get a referral from a realtor, make sure that you loop the realtor in. So it's just a more efficient mortgage experience. So when you deliver mortgage options, there's a link. And if they click on that link from a mobile device, they're getting all the options in a mobile device. So whether that's a iPhone, iPad, and of Ooh, course, I know who's that guy, Tom. Sorry, man. Get a better yeah. model. I know. So again, recommendation, make sure you put an audio or video and Tom's going to tell you what he's doing and how he's doing it. So again, this is just for a TBD, a prequal, making sure that those buyers are getting information the way realtors love it. Let's face it. When you present options early on in the process, Tom, how, what percentage of the time do you think the options change from the first TBD until the time they actually put it in escrow and they close a couple times? Yeah, it's got it's got to change a bunch. And if you're not gonna, you know, if you're gonna be other than a commodity to the borrower out there, you know, you need to start showing that you know more than they do. And that's that's the reason I've been using Mortgage Coach since 2003. Yeah. So so first of all, options are gonna change, make it easy and efficient to change them, and they're gonna change a lot. So the other, you know, um, big experience, and this ties right into what Tom is doing, is rather than just deliver the information of an average open house with Mortgage Coach, you deliver a link. It's co-branded. And now that realtor has mortgage options on their mobile device. So this is the realtor's mobile advice. You forwarded them a mortgage coach link, and now they have that on display at their open houses. And what you'll hear from realtors is that, one, they're getting more leads out of the open house. And most importantly, you're getting more mortgage leads out of that open house. So start forwarding open house flyers to your realtors in a mortgage coach way. And, of course, we all know millennials live on their mobile devices, so they, they love this strategy. So, Tom, you and I did a call a few weeks back where we really talked about Mortgage Coach and the increasing value with the integrated disclosures. Let's let's talk about what you're doing with HBM and how you're driving, you know, as an HBM leader and loan officer and branch manager, how you're using it to get more leads. I'll just push the screen along as you want me to go to the next slide. No, absolutely. So, you know, Dave, front end for us is I look at 2015. I've got 25 loan officers now, and it's it's HBM and it's Mortgage Coach are the two things we're going to do at the front end to differentiate ourselves, to add value to realtors and to home buyers, make ourselves memorable, make ourselves sticky to both of those groups here. So this idea is I want to talk to somebody about Mortgage Coach as soon as I can because I want them to see that we're not just going to throw them a loan cost estimate or a GFE and let them see some numbers they don't really understand. I want to get them that graphical, valuable you know, user interface, whether it's on their mobile device or whether it's a web video that they can they can look at and really start getting some clarity around it and recognize and like, man, this this mortgage planner, this loan officer is really giving me some cool advice. So the idea is here is in HBM, if I click on the uh, buyer management tab in my, my loan officer login and then the second one is go view buyer's online activity, which would advance the next slide there, Dave. It brings up, these are all my buyers in HBM. So now I'm going to click a column that uh, is interesting to me. So maybe I'll go to uh, added to favorites or viewed property detail or logins last seven days. And what I'm looking to do is find somebody who's pretty active out there. And if I've got a realtor in mind, I'm going to look for, you know, an active buyer with that realtor that I'm trying to get more business from because, because real estate agents will compartmentalize you. They might say, oh yeah, this is my first time home buyer specialist or my luxury home specialist or they do my buyer loans, but I never let them talk to my sellers who are also buyers eventually. So I want to get deeper in that relationship with that realtor as well. So in this place, you know, number two, I picked a uh, picked a borrower here. So Josh Keller uh, is working with Ken and Kristen Vine because I want to get more business from Ken and Kristen. I also want to get to know Josh better as he's out there shopping for houses. So click on that uh, click on that guy in HBM. Takes me to this slide. So now I bring up the uh, buyer's favorites tab which is going to show me all the houses that he has uh, marked as favorites, and those are potential houses he wants to get to go look at. And sort it by price, and my idea is, hey, let's find the most expensive, active house that I can find so I can show him an open house flyer and let him see that with the right financing options, a house that he might think is out of his price range actually is more affordable than he thought. So set, I'm going to uh, 
so real quick, buyer's favorites, sort from highest to lowest, and then pick the highest price house there and just click on the MLS number, which David just advanced the slide. And now I'm going to open up my Edge account. So you can go ahead and hit, hit the slide there. So now in Edge, I grab my realtor partner or create a brand new one from the home page in Edge. I go to the property tab. I just I use two screens. I hope you are as well, but grabbing the information off HBM, so the photograph, the price, and the features. Now I'm going to put a couple of loan programs in there to build the open house flyer. So we'll, we'll go ahead and look at that real quick. So here at the bottom, you know, select the agent, add the property details in, and then add some of the loan programs. Go ahead and click through that, and then do my analysis for the open house flyer. You don't really need to spend a whole lot of time with that, so I'm really going right to contact information for the agent, and then my presentation is I'm going to put together an open house flyer. Beautiful, folks. So check it out. I mean, we're talking really quick, really simple. Tom, on average, how much time does it take you to create one of these once you've identified a property or other loan officers on your team? Yeah, the whole thing, you know, logging into HBM, logging into Edge and doing the whole thing was, was less than five minutes. And uh, and I agree with recording the message because now this is, if you think about it, this guy Josh here, I may or may not have ever met him before. So here's an opportunity for me to, you know, show him what I look like, talk to him, smile at the camera, do all that stuff versus, you know, my competition is maybe sending an email or maybe doing nothing. So I'm, I'm playing the game where the, where the competition doesn't even know the game started yet. I'm already in that game in a, in a multi, uh, you know, multimedia, you know, format there, if you will. So again, just a, a great strategy. Uh, HBM is doing a great job of helping you identify the signal, you know, where a buyer is active. You're able to identify specific property. You're able to create a co-branded uh, marketing um, piece of marketing that's valuable, that helps package that home. So bringing mortgage strategies to a buyer at the right time in a way that has context to them. Again, just a, a great strategy. So Tom, thanks for jumping on. Hey, oh, go ahead. One more thing on here. My, my message here is really to both Kristen, the realtor, and to Josh, the buyer, because I'm introducing myself to Josh, but I also want to cross-sell my realtor at this point. So now it's a great point to just go, hey, Josh, man, with the right loan program, this house is very affordable. And if it's if it's as cool looking as you think it is, you know, maybe it's time to call Kristen. Here's her number and go take a look at that thing, because you could see on his favorites, several of his favorites were no longer available. So if you're in a hot market and now the realtor's like, wow, this loan officer is trying to help me sell a house. And it also is very easy when I when I email this link to the realtor, just go, hey, by the way, if you'd like to see open house flyers like this for your other listings, let's make sure we talk about that as well. So again, trying to try to get more of her business besides just the people she put into HBM. So just a great strategy, folks, to get more referrals from realtors. Hopefully this delivered value for you. Uh, mortgage Coach plus HBM equals more loans for you.